What is going on guys? Welcome to your 17th tutorial and I actually just made this tutorial but when I got done with it I accidentally hit delete at the end of it because I'm an idiot so now I have to make the entire thing again but I mean at least I had practice making it so alright let me take a deep breath and let's do this again but for you guys it would be like the first time so anyways what I want to talk about in this tutorial is complex conditions so in the last tutorial we saw that if we wanted to test more than one condition then what we had to do is embed an if within another if so basically if we wanted to test my first name was Bucky then we go ahead and we made an if statement and then we wanted to test my next my last name was Roberts so we go ahead and we stuck if statement inside of that but actually I want to let you guys in on little secret there's an easier way to test more than one condition and you only have to use one if statement so let's go ahead and make two variables I'll go ahead and make first and I'll set this equal to Bucky and I'll go ahead and make another variable and I'll name this last and I'll set this equal to Roberts make sure I spell my last name right though Roberts and now let's go ahead and make an if statement so before we needed to make two whenever we want to test two conditions but now I told you guys you can test two conditions using one if statement so in order to test two conditions the first thing you need to do is this go ahead and put each condition you want to test inside parentheses I call them curly braces sometimes but I mean I'm not lying to myself I know they're parentheses so the first thing I want to test is that first variable is equal to the name Bucky and now go ahead and stick the next condition you want to test in parentheses so now I want to test that that last variable is equal to my name Roberts so Roberts so you're saying alright that's simple enough you have two conditions in here that you want to test simple enough but you're not done yet the last thing that you need to add is in between them go ahead and above the seven there's a key called ampersand go ahead and hit that twice what this is going to tell javascript is alright you want to test this condition and you want to test this condition and i'm only going to execute this code let's give it some code real quick to execute document write and write something stupid like hey good job buddy here's a cookie whatever I spelled every word with a typo but it doesn't really matter so anyways like I was saying whenever you use this special double ampersand it means alright I know with one if statement you usually use one condition but in this case scenario you want to test this condition and this condition right now and if they're both true then I'm gonna execute this bit of code right now so let's go ahead and save it and refresh and see what we get hey good job there buddy yada 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 so anyways like I was saying when you use double ampersands this needs to be true and this needs to be true if one of them is false or if both of them is false it's not gonna run so let's go ahead and change his first name to like Tommy name my cousin and go ahead and refresh it and it's not gonna work since one of those conditions was false so that is how you test two or more conditions in a single if statement and you're saying alright so how would I test three or four well if you want to test more then just go ahead add more amber signs and another condition right here simple enough so now that I told you guys about that special and let's go ahead and delete this and I want to teach you guys about another way that you can text test complex conditions and that's using the or so let's go ahead and make a simple if and let's go ahead and document write whoa wrong symbols there um let's write bacon it really doesn't matter what you write in there and now say you come across this scenario alright I wanna test two conditions but only one of them needs to be true for me to execute the bit of code for example if your name is Bucky or if your last name is Roberts the code is going to get executed not both conditions have to be true but one or the other well let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that just like before you go ahead and write your two conditions in here if first is equal to Bucky and last is equal to 
Roberts, and now you're saying, all right, go ahead and put those double and signs. Well, when you're using or, you actually use this sign, it's called, I think it's called the pipe symbol or something. It's above the enter key or the return key on your keyboard. And I guarantee you just look there right now. So don't lie, I know you just looked there. You can't resist. So anyways, when we use the or sign, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. It says bacon, but you're saying, all right. Well, we said if first is equal to Bucky and first is actually equal to Tommy, so why would this run? The reason it ran is because this last name was indeed equal to Roberts. So again, only one of these conditions has to be true in order for this code to run. If both of them are false, if, if first one equals Tommy and last one equal Hanks, Tom Hanks, then they're not going to be equal to Bucky or Roberts. So whenever you try to go and run this, nothing happens. So again, with or, either this one has to be true, or this one has to be true, and if they're both true, Tommy and Hanks, it's going to run. So if they're both true, or this one, or this one, it's going to run. It's basically saying, it, as long as one of the conditions is true, I'm going to go ahead and do the code you told me to do. So anyways just like before if you want to add more just go ahead and add more pipe symbols and more conditions right in here but that's the basics of this tutorial and um, testing complex conditions it might save you some time from nesting a bunch of if statements again if you want to test one or more condition and they all need to be true then use the double and sign just like that if you want to test two or more conditions and only one of them needs to be true then go ahead and use those or signs or pipes or whatever the heck you call them just like that so that's the basics of that and don't forget that it's not only two but you can add an unlimited number of tests just by adding more signs and more brick or what they call parentheses so that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial Hopefully, whenever I stop this tutorial, I'm actually going to save it this time and not delete it because, it, well, I guess if I delete it this time, then you guys would never be hearing this. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.